Um, what's up, YouTube? How you doing? Um, I said that I was going to post a video, and I sent the message to a lot of people that have been coming to my page. So, I'm going to tell you about something that I did not want to tell, especially on YouTube. But, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to relax, and I'm going to tell you, and um, let me know what you think. So, uh, the purpose of this is not to sway you one way or the other, but the purpose of this is just for me to tell about an uh, extreme experience I had um, for those that are interested. Okay, I posted a video about my near-death experience, and I got, like, a lot of people sending messages, and they were so intrigued by this. So I was like, okay, I'm going to tell the other story. Well... One night, this was in my pro I was in the process of becoming a a believer in God and in Christ, a true believer, not somebody who just calls themselves a Christian because they go to church. But I was actually in a transition um, of being dedicated. So I had a vision, and in this vision, Jesus was holding my hand, and He took me to hell. And He said, "I'm going to take you, and I'm going to show you what hell is really like." So, in this dream, um, the first thing I saw was him, of course, and then it was black. Not, n not a black that I'm used to here on earth. It was like a black so thick that you could touch it. It was like a black, but it was like a substance, if that makes sense, that you could touch it. I couldn't see my hand in front of me, but I knew that he was beside me, I knew that Jesus was beside me, and I could see everything that he was showing me. Hell had three levels. The first level that we were on uh, was, was the top level. It starts off like a tunnel, and you get down and it spreads out into this big, wide, vast area. And to the right side of me, there were individual lakes of fire. And there was one big one, but there were also individual lakes of fire. And the first lake was a guy, three demons around him, and the lake of fire obviously was burning continuously. Uh, it was burning the flesh off of his bones. Um, but it never did completely burn away. And the demons were tormenting him. And basically everything that he had done on earth that caused him to go there, um, murder, rape, and abuse, is what was being done to him over and over and over again. And... Um, but what made hell so bad for me was he was able to see the people he affected that are still living on earth. Um, he could see his son and how he had taught his son that God wasn't real and hell wasn't real. Do whatever you want to do. Don't let people tell you that this is evil or that is evil. Nobody can judge you. Do what you please. And so this is how his son was living, and he was seeing his son make the same mistakes he made, and he was yelling, and he was saying, you know, no, don't do that, don't do that, hell is real, but his son couldn't hear him. So that's part of the torment of being in hell, is that you can see the effect you had on earth in the people, but you can't do anything about it, you can't warn them, um, you can't get them to change. And so, as we walk, we get to another lake of fire. And I even saw young people down there. Like, I was, I don't know, I was expecting to see serial killers, um, you know, older people. But I saw young people down there, too. And um, they were in their own individual lake of fire. And they were being tormented and tortured. And as I said, the flesh burns continuously. But it never does disappear. Um, so it's like just an infinite torture. And as we walk through... And I remember feeling fear. My whole body was shaking. I knew that I was with Jesus. I knew that I was safe. But I just remember feeling this dreadful fear um, that I had, I never felt nothing like that. And as we walked through and he was showing me what each person had done, um, why they were there, and what the, the demons that were assigned to them, there were certain demons assigned to the individual people to torment them. Um, there were also demons just roaming about carrying out assignments that they had gotten from Satan. As we got to the next level, 
this level was worse. This level were people that did far, committed far worse crimes and sins here on earth. And the third level was the worst of all levels, and that's where Satan was. So if you could picture three levels, and right in the middle, in the middle, on the bottom floor, that's where Satan, his quote-unquote throne was. Uh, he had an area where he sat. He sent out messages. Um, he had imps around him waiting for him to tell them what he wanted them to go and do. Uh, he And he really does go to and fro. He has to get permission from God before he does anything. Um, and so that that's what was going on through the whole dream. And as I began to get to the end, and, and you know, God told me, he, he said, hell is not just fire. Uh, hell is fire, it's torment and torture, whatever you've done is going to be done to you over and over again and you will also have your memory, you will be able to see the people you affected and the decisions that they're making because of you, you will be able to see all of the people that you've hurt, you will be able to hear uh, them being tormented because of what you've done to them. So imagine watching your mom being depressed, tormented, um, trying to commit suicide, you're watching her do this and it's because of you. It's because of things that you've done um, to cause her to be the way, but there's nothing you can do about it. You can't comfort her. You can't warn people that you impacted to follow in your footsteps or anything like that. So that's my vision about hell. Um, and after that, I woke up and I just remember I was sweating from the top of my head to my feet. I was drenched in sweat and I was shaking. Um, and when I woke up, I took a deep breath. <gasps> I did that as if I had been breathing um, while I was there. I don't know what it was, but I took a gasp of air and started breathing again. And my heart was racing really, really fast. Um, so that was it. That's what happened. Uh, leave me your comments. I'm going to post another video, which will be part two to this, um, about some other things that God put in my heart concerning this vision that I had. All right. So check out part two.